Yes, welcome back. This is the touchline. And our second segment, we talk about athletics. And John Vaslin is here to help us understand some of the happenings uh, this week. Really uh, tragic events and tragic news. I remember we were here or over during last weekend's show, and we were hopeful that the season will, you know, kick off to a better start. But here we again, that's mm -hmm. normal. You know, how did you receive the passing on of? Uh, first of all, Kevin uh, Kiptum. Yeah, thank you for having me, uh, Bernard. Uh, it, it, it was horrific, and it was it was not easy to 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 to, to something to to chew, mm -hmm. you know. And uh, this is a guy I've interacted with. Him. You know, I knew Kevin Kiptum in mm -hmm. 2018 mm -hmm. at. Um, what was it, Cass, half marathon. Then I, I came the following year, I met Kevin again. He was doing half at, the, at that time. And he ran the family bank uh, half marathon. And then he won again. And we interacted then. Uh, in between, we got lost because Elliot came and took everything in between there. Yeah, yeah. And uh, after when Kevin went to Valencia again, he came back to Limelight, you know. Mm -hmm. And now I did a follow-up to just understand him. Then all of a sudden... Kevin went to London, and then after London, immediately after London, we met, because again, there was a tragic uh, incident again, happening the same camp that they had. They had an agent that passed on called Daniel Miami, mm -hmm. and you know, he was a personal friend. I've been following those guys for like 14 years, you know, mm -hmm. and so we met, we sat for like three hours, you know, I was asking him, mm -hmm. what is your thinking? Mm -hmm. How are you running these crazy times, you know? And this guy was telling me, na bado, what John Vaslin Mambo, you know, uh -huh. bado, uh -huh. you haven't seen the best of me, I've just started, you know. Uh -huh. And he, he was to, so again, he was to rest with uh -huh. Elud in Berlin, you remember, and, uh -huh. and then again management issues and marketing issue, uh -huh. corporate uh -huh. branding and all that came into play. Uh -huh. And they said they have to delay this meeting together of these two guys. So the hopeful event was to meet and and... Then he went to Chicago, mm -hmm. and he did the, 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 the he actually he defied the orders of running mm -hmm. uh, when he came. Although marathon records have been broken five times in Chicago, mm -hmm. uh, but in Berlin you'll see that 12 of those records mm -hmm. that have, have been broken because of the flatness of the course. Mm -hmm. And here the guy went there and then he did the unimaginable. So for him going at this particular moment, was shocking. There are people who have not recovered. Even the management himself. You know what the management was, had, they were putting stru into structures uh -huh. or into place. Uh -huh. They wanted to use now this image of Kiptum because uh -huh. Kiptum had an active running career uh -huh. of around 13 years actively running. Uh -huh. And this guy had just started. So the, 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 we, we, you know, with running is progression. Uh -huh. I, I'll tell you something a little bit. It has taken like 116 years uh -huh. for 55 minutes uh -huh. to be broken uh -huh. from, that is, I'm talking about 1908 to 20 to, 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 to this year. Uh -huh. Those are 116 years uh -huh. that it has taken for people to reduce 55 seconds. So it's, it's something that has taken time and then it takes the progression. Now this guy had came into the system. Uh -huh. Now he understands the courses, how to handle, how to tackle. Uh -huh. You know, with running, you'll never lie about running. Running is about calculation. Uh -huh. They are the best runners, are the best mathematicians because he knows within these 10 kilometers i'm supposed to run at a pace of two and a half or three minutes mm -hmm. per kilometer mm -hmm. then he knows when the body is responding well or if he has to increase the pace mm -hmm. or if he has to reduce the pace because maybe sometimes the weather you know yeah. when you can go for a, for a race let's say you go to run in mombasa mm -hmm. the weather there is totally different from the weather in nairobi and, and eldoret mm -hmm. so with running you cannot compare the running the 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 the, 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 the minutes places, uh, yes. they are two different because it will eat you mombasa will eat you because of humidity yes. so an athlete will understand that. Mm -hmm. he's, he's, he knows his body, mm -hmm. how it responds. So mm -hmm. when I talked to him after breaking yes. the record yes. now, mm -hmm. came back and then he said, now I'm going for, the, for, the, for that time that Elliot had run at Ineos. Mm -hmm. And here we have, mm -hmm. the guy is gone mm -hmm. at a tender age. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, talk about his determination and zeal when mm -hmm. he had just reached that particular milestone. You know, mm -hmm. many will say that that's the top. Where do mm -hmm. you go mm -hmm. after mm -hmm. that? You know, how was his reaction to to setting all that record and climbing to the top of his career you, you 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 know this guy again i'll tell you something that he has run he has participated into three major races that have propelled him to be where he is mm -hmm. and he's become he may he 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 
he, he made himself a legend. This is a self-made individual uh -huh. because people in, in most people, they have known Kiptum the last two years. Yes. But for us who have been in the game, we have known Kiptum for more than 10 years, you get it. Mm. So we understand where he's coming from. Yeah. People even didn't know this guy is married, he has a family. Kiptum has had a family for a very long time that we have known him. Mm -hmm. And you see people just saw him when he came into Valencia. Then the surprise visit at London. Then the wonderful thing, amazing thing, crazy thing that he did at Chicago. This guy was focused and he was purposeful. And the next time that he was going was now to, he was setting the records. His mind now was setting the record, things that will take time for people to break. You remember Eliud was saying, records are made to be broken. Yes. But I tell you, even he himself, yeah, yeah. Eliud, yeah. was astonished when this man ran because the course was not favorable uh -huh. for a marathon record. Uh -huh. uh, Chicago is usually just a little bit hilly, mm -hmm. it's a little bit steep. And then, uh, but when you compare with the Berlin course, Berlin course is a flat course uh -huh. like this, uh -huh. start to finish, it's all level down. Uh -huh. So he didn't expect that to happen. Uh -huh. So I, I think the future for this young man was to run to 5'8", uh -huh. which was possible because you look at the pacing, how he was running, you see, he, he delayed a little bit. You remember at London when he told, uh, after finishing the race, he, he, if, if at that particular moment, somebody could have told him mm -hmm. that you are on the course record pace. He could have broken the, the record at that particular moment. Mm -hmm. But nobody was there. You remember the escort at, uh, uh, at, uh, in Chicago? Yes. In Chicago, they were telling him because the, even the people who were escorting, they, they had now to communicate to him. Uh -huh. They had to tell him, now you're, you're on the, the course. Hey, you're yes. within the record. Yes, yes maintain, you know. Yeah. They are telling him, this time is record. You are in record. It was really encouraging. But in uh, Atlanta, nobody yeah. was telling him for the last 12, I think, yeah, 12 kilometers. Uh -huh. Because the body was still working. Uh -huh. He was uh, still at his best. You remember the finishing, the finishing around the 500 meters. Uh -huh. That guy was explosive. Uh -huh. And then you see he was acting as Wanjiro. You know Wanjiro? Zero again died at his yeah, at that the prime, same, yeah, the prime, prime time, careers, yeah. and you can see with marathon, you know, when somebody, especially after the 38 kilometer, you are not yourself. Uh -huh. It's the system now running you uh -huh. because physically you are gone because running 40 kilometers non-stop in a span of two minutes 30 seconds or uh, yes two minutes 30 seconds or in a span of two uh, or in a span of three minutes mm -hmm. per kilometer mm -hmm. or maintaining the same for 20 kilometer mm -hmm. running two and 30 seconds mm -hmm. it's crazy you know mm -hmm. so when the system reaches at around 38 kilometer 35 kilometer mostly the last pacemaker usually drops mm -hmm. that's the very last pacemaker drops at that yeah. particular moment mm -hmm. so you remain on your own mm -hmm. this athlete has five kilometer to maintain that mm -hmm. pace. Mm -hmm. Then the two kilometers is where you, somebody's telling me, God help me. But we saw Kiptum in Chicago uh -huh. doing the amazing because when it remained the 12 kilometer, uh -huh. he was destructive uh -huh. and he really destroyed uh -huh. that course record in the finishing minutes. Uh -huh. So the future for this young man was so great uh -huh. and records were going to fall. Yeah. So the management had, had structured this young man. Uh -huh. They wanted to propel him the same way Global did for uh -huh. Elliot yes. because Elliot became an icon uh -huh. in the world of running. He's uh -huh. a legend. Yeah, long distance yes, run, he's, he's legend. Both track, you yeah. know, Elliot came. He's the one who removed these people. You see, uh, Kina, what are the names? Kina Gabriel uh -huh. yeah. Kina Bekel. He yeah. beat them on the track, yeah. hands down. Yeah. He beat them at 18 years. He was destroying yes. them. This guy has history that yeah. he has built on. It's not just like faith. Faith is from nowhere. You yeah. see, he started running barefooted yeah. here at uh, this ground that has I been refurbished yeah. to Uru, Uru Garden. Yes. That's the very first time. I saw her yeah. in Punta Umbria in 2011. Yes. yes, so you, you see, but with Kiptum, nobody knew him. Only those people who on the ground are the people who knew him. Even the coach. Uh -huh. Actually, people knew the so coach. So where does London. this leave the future? The future we don't know now uh -huh. because what has happened is just terrible. And for you to get another keep to him, uh -huh. it's going to take us time. We know we produce, we, we, we will manufacture yeah. uh, the, the at least. Yes, they are yeah. both long and short. Yeah, we short, manufacture yeah. them because every day there's a new breed that is coming up. But to get the caliber of this young man, Kelvin Kiptum, it will take us a while. Uh -huh. yeah. Yes, and of course, um, not really uh, going into the Olympics it means the, the Kenyan team now has to rearrange their plans. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I even I will tell you point blank without fear of, or contradiction, uh -huh. nothing going to happen between those two legends. 
nothing between there was mm. no running between Eliud and Kipchoge mm. it wouldn't have happened yeah yeah because the history could have gone at one particular moment <laughs> you know this is a young tuck fresh blood <laughs> and we're looking at a legend, a legend running yeah. with on somebody the, on who the is cusp of, of, yeah, 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 yeah. history and legacy that, that yeah. one is destroying the uh -huh. old man uh -huh. he could have been completely destroyed uh -huh. out pest uh -huh. and he could have even been made to look uh, what can i say like you know, to put it in that context, uh, nothing could have happened at that particular moment. I don't think Eliud could have competed with Kiptum in Olympics. Yes, indeed. Yeah. And, and of course, the passing now, the authorities are doing their, doing their work, you know, hoping that they could unravel what was really behind the sudden demise by all the same member that he did leave a mark as the only athlete who did run in a competitive race, you know, just two zero zero thirty five, and that will live until that day when another athlete will come to the fore and uh, maybe lower the time. But also, same week, we had a legend who passed on, a trailblazer of his time, you know, Henry Rono. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Henry Mon Rono is just going to the same, has gone... Actually, Kip Tum has gone to the same history books uh -huh. as Henry Romo on one front is uh -huh. that at their prime, uh -huh. they never won a world championship medal uh -huh. or an Olympic medal. Uh -huh. Henry Romo ca Henry Romo came into the limelight at 19 1978 uh -huh. in 1981. Uh -huh. And during 1981, he broke, that's the time he broke for five records uh -huh. in one particular or I I in in two races yes. so he, because he broke the 10k then he took the steeple and then he broke even uh, the in between times that uh -huh. were there so and then the funny thing is that we were going to have the world championship at that particular time that is 1984 mm -hmm. but kenya boycotted the event so yes. they never went and uh -huh. henry was at his prime yeah. at that time he was destroying records left uh -huh. right center so he he goes to the history books as someone who was at his prime uh -huh. But he never achieved the highest medals that an athlete anticipates or aspires to have. That is the World Championship medal uh -huh. and the Olympic medal. Uh -huh. Now back to his death. You uh -huh. know, Henry Rono left Kenya uh -huh. and went and stayed in the United States for 34 years. Uh -huh. He stayed for 34 years and he, he, he lived a lavish life. You know, a lavish lifestyle. He spent and overspent uh -huh. his earning. So before he left the, the U.S., you know, he won. He had won few races, especially the marathons. Even the the the, the, the when he broke the the ten thousand uh, record and the steeplechase record. So he had some few coins that he had. He uh -huh. bought a house here in South Sea, uh -huh. and it's still there. And then this guy decided to 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 to, to go. Uh -huh. uh, even he left his family, uh -huh. you know. Then he went. He forgot his family, but uh -huh. he remembered the young girl because they were in constant communication with the young lady that she had. Uh -huh. Yeah, and daughter. He the daughter now. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And he went to states. Then he stayed for 34 years. People had to fundraise uh -huh. for this old man uh -huh. to come back to uh -huh. Kenya. Uh -huh. And it was big, 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 big headlines that were running. Uh -huh. But when you look at him again, uh -huh. first you pity uh -huh. uh, the life. The yes. The life, but again, you see somebody who never, who never saved or who never put his earning into a proper basket because he got and he misused what he had. Because he started, he went into coaching after retirement. He used to coach people there. Then all of a sudden, then he went to stray in the streets. And then somebody met him and then he said, wow, this is a legend, Kenyan yeah. legend. What yeah. is he doing in the yeah. streets? And that's why how fundraising came into place so that he can come back to Kenya. He came to Kenya and his family disowned him. The wife disowned him because for 34 years, where he have you been, been? You know, uh -huh. the son got married, uh, and then they stay now. The son and the mother, uh -huh. they stay in the same house. Uh -huh. He was chased from because he could not survive. I went, I visited them. We took a cup of tea with Henry Rono uh -huh. and the family, uh -huh. and there was it was horrible surrounding because it's as if a stranger has popped into this house uh -huh. who was unwanted. Uh -huh. So he stayed there for like two months. He lived a lonely life? 
very lonely life this duration of him now before passing uh -huh, uh -huh. so he had no option but to go back to Kapsabet uh -huh. where he had bought a, s a piece of land uh -huh. and again people came together to put a structure uh -huh. for him where he could stay uh -huh. so he uh -huh. stayed a lonely life so during COVID time I went there to check uh -huh. on him uh -huh. and we had like uh, two hours just uh -huh. talking and understanding because uh, 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 there's another guy and me who really went and had time even here we mm -hmm. went to his home uh -huh. to just understand what was happening uh -huh. because we wanted to help to see where uh -huh. can we help uh -huh. we talked to the family but it could not be possible so Henry had to leave so nobody uh -huh. one thing I want to send it very clear without uh -huh. contradicting myself uh -huh. Uh -huh. I pray that nobody will come uh -huh. at this time that Henry Rono was uh -huh. back into the uh -huh. country uh -huh. and start boosting that we helped him. Uh -huh. Nobody came to rescue this legend. Mm -hmm. Nobody came to him. Uh -huh. And I'm really waiting for such a person to come on uh -huh. so that I want to handle him uh -huh. head on without uh -huh. fear of anything. Uh -huh. Because this man has died a miserable life for uh -huh. the last five years. Five years, that is four years that has been in the country, uh -huh. he live a frustrated life. Yes, yes. And that's the life of uh, Henry Rolo, a track legend who passed on aged 72. Yeah. I remember uh, that he was a former champion who brought the glory and honor to the country. Wow, great insights from John Vaslin. Thank you so much. And John, where go. can people read your articles? Ah. <laughs> <laughs> you know Just before you go, yes. You, 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 you know, Passion brought me into the game. Yeah, you know, yeah, I'm yeah. a professional, I'm a tech person, uh -huh, I'm a uh -huh. tech guru, I'm a uh -huh. hacker by profession. Uh -huh. But I had to drop that when I left. I left the country because I had issues here with the country. I uh -huh. went to stay in Netherlands uh -huh. for seven uh -huh. years. Uh -huh. Then I met uh -huh. a runner uh -huh. on the streets just uh -huh. very quickly a minute. Uh -huh. yes, I yes. met a runner running. Yes. Uh -huh. Then I'm like, no, this uh -huh. one must be a Kenyan. So uh -huh. I had to follow that guy with a bicycle. Uh -huh. Then he's like, I asked him, I from Kenya. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh -huh. what many? Uh -huh. Then we talked to Swahili and I uh -huh. said, wow. Uh -huh. So from there, uh, 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 we walked around and I felt the passion. I collected a few guys. We said, uh -huh. look here, uh -huh. Uh -huh. why don't we start something? So uh -huh. I started a management uh -huh. for running. Uh -huh. The team told me, you go back to Kenya because you are a Kenyan. Uh -huh. So I came, uh -huh. bought a property uh -huh. in Iten. I uh -huh. put up something. Uh -huh. Then with few uh -huh. athletes I contracted. Uh -huh. Then that's how I started. Yes. Then uh, the people pulled away because of circumstances. There were people who had been deported by the late Kip Lagat. Uh -huh. And so my sponsorship people, actually a week was, it was seven days for sponsorship money of yes. around 30 uh, million to uh, drop in. Mm -hmm. Then those people, uh, Rita Chepto happened. Uh -huh. She was banned uh -huh. and the Nini went. So I stayed for two years. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Then after uh -huh. two years, uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, uh, I, I could not sustain running the, the, the management, yeah. so I dropped. Yeah. So I saw that there was a gap for telling the story of athletics. Yes. So I came up with a blog, yes. athletics.co.ke. Yes, that's, that's where you can find <laughs> me. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, John Vassil, Any permanent time, fixture brother. here. Anytime. Hope to see you again next Saturday. Anytime. Great I'm insights, available. man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks you so much. We'll be having fun zone and also be speaking to BMX Freestyle members here on Touchline. Don't go too far. Keep it Y254.